Hello, this video is a quick demonstration on using the batch uh, parameter to to run part of your uh, part of your rule instead of running the the entire rule. So, in the official documentation, uh, if you go to the command line interface here and search for, let me just. Yes, here, useful command line arguments and then dealing with very large workflows. I will demonstrate what this means. So you might have a huge workflow where you have millions of jobs that you need to run, but but you want to run it, but the the way Snakemake uh, finds the the builds the, the job tag, it might take ages to run because you have so many jobs to run. Uh, to sort of reduce some of that burden, you can you can run different chunks of your your entire jobs. So let's do a quick demonstration. Uh, so let's say I have a rule. Hello again, like always. It's going to output a file in the output directory, and this is going to be a just a number dot text. And here we will do, uh, let's use the run directive and op with open. I'm going to use, so this is going in here. And with write f, this is just ordinary Python code. And here I'm going to write uh, wildcards num and then a new line. Okay, so we have our rule. Let's just do a quick run. Snake make cause one, and then I'm going to do output one dot text, and that's created. So we have this text file with the content one. Okay, so let's make another rule using the all rule. So this is I've went through the this. Uh, before I'm just checking if I can see I'll just put a link to the to the video that I explain what the all rule does the rule at the very top of the snake file okay so moving on so here I'm going to I'm just going to quickly define a variable here uh, let's do let's do 100,000 and then here I'm going to do input and then expand this is a snake make function and here I'm going to do the same as the output that's defined here but I'm using the expand function to expand all of this uh, numbers to here so if I do that, so what this does is it, so I have uh, 0 to, uh, what is it, 99, uh, 999, uh, 99,999 uh, numbers in a list. If I just do print numbers, just a quick demonstration, I'm going to specify the output here. You see, that's the that's the printed list. If I do something like that, you see that's a list of from zero to uh, ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to delete the output directory for now. Okay, so I will try. So say I wanted to run this rule so that I get uh, 100,000 uh, output files. What I could do is think make cause one and then just run that. So because I didn't specify a particular output, it's just going to run the the old rule because this is the first rule in this snake file. I do that and then it says building tag of jobs. But because there's so many uh, jobs that it needs to process, evaluate, 
it's taking a while to process all of it so it's going through the loop so this takes ages so you don't know if it's frozen or if it's you know if there's a bug or or it's just not responsive you don't you don't know for sure whether it's working so you might do something like this and find out so you add the debug dag parameter which shows you in detail on what the snake make is doing in evaluating the the dag So I'm going to stop there. So it's working, but it's not frozen. It's working, but there's just too many jobs, and um, you know, I might I might want to execute this before I leave for work, and I just want to see it starting to run. And because there's so many jobs, I know it's going to run until tomorrow. I I don't I maybe I just want to start the first third of the jobs. So what you could do to do that. Uh, I will just quickly demonstrate by reducing this to 10. So what this is going to do is create 10 output files. You see here, there's 10 output files. I'm going to delete that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the batch. So with the 10, I ran everything and then it executed fairly quickly. It's just as a demonstration. So batch, I'm going to specify the rule name. So rule here, and then I'm going to do equals one divided by three. So if I do that, it's going to only run the first uh, third, only the first batch of the three batches of the old rule. So if I do that and I look at the output, you see it only outputted, it only created three output files. So here, if I do two now, it's going to create the next uh, batch. And then finally, if I do the third, it's going to create the remaining batches, uh, remaining jobs. So that is the batch command. So I could do something like this thousand and then just for demonstration purposes I'm going to delete that again and then I could I could do something bigger I could do 10 if if there's so much jobs I could do 10 and then this is going to because there's a thousand uh, it's going to create the first 100 jobs the numbers might not you know be ordered but that's fine so that's going to run and you know we're, we're nearly there so that is the batch option so i hope that was helpful and and yeah i hope that was helpful if you have any questions or uh or any sort of subtopics of snake make that you would like me to cover uh leave a comment and i will go through it and answer any questions and and maybe think of going over the topic that you suggested okay thank you